What's up, YouTube? My name is the Lazy Tryhard, and today we are going to be continuing our Android application development series. And today, what I thought we'd cover is text fields. Now, that doesn't sound very interesting to you guys, but trust me, it gets very cool if you know how to use it. So, what a text field is, is basically all of these. You have all these different options for it, and if you drag one of them out, you're going to see nothing really happens. You see this little uh, little line down here, uh, and you're like, what the heck? That doesn't really do anything. Well, it does. Just wait. So, what a text field does is it's basically a form of... Uh, input so if a user say you want to make like a user login page uh, you're gonna to have to get the information from the user obviously and to do that very easily you can make it in the H in the XML very quickly so we're gonna move this up here because I know it's awesome uh, but we're gonna make a quick little text uh, login page so what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag two of these and actually if you want to get really fancy we can use the password one as well and it's a little bigger, and you're like, what the heck, how do we make this th bigger? You can't just do this. Actually, you can, never mind. Uh, you can't do that if you don't have a reference or whatever. Um, but if we start this right now, and we run it, we're basically just going to get um, two things that if we put our mouse on, it'll like totally just give us the option to do anything with. But at the same time, um, we need to be able to like use that input and use that text. So while that's loading, I'm going to kind of explain a little bit. Um, but basically, what I'm trying to do with this, guys, is I know this is kind of simple and simpler uh, stuff, and you might, you know, you can just go through these tutorials really quick. But this is really important because you need to know the bare bones and the uh, foundation so that when we get to the more complicated stuff we can already know how to do all this stuff so that's my cute little spiel and now it should be loaded up so if we click on this and we should click on it we should get a our thing should show our, if you want a real Android device your keyboard would show up but since I already have mine uh, the lazy dry hard and password is going to be password and see since we gave it this password uh, it doesn't actually show up. So, really fancy. We're going to make it even more fancy. We're actually going to add a button just to um, kind of finish it all up so we can have like a submit button. And we're going to edit it in the, HT, or in the XML, excuse me. So, what you can do in the XML is a lot of stuff really. First, we're going to edit the ID and we're going to say username. And for this one, we're going to say, where's the ID? There it is. We're going to say password. So you should always, again, just be ready to, uh, we got to change this as well. So if you ever have like a line right and it's pointing to an object, uh, you need to obviously change that as well. And make sure you do it the right one or it's not going to work. So now that everything's kind of set up, we can go into the edit text and we can kind of work with this. So one of the things that is actually really cool is we can do the following Android dot hint or semicolon and we can put in a hint. So this will look good if um, you want to tell the user, hey, put your username in without actually having to make another text view and like formatting everything. So we can say username and it'll put like a faded version of it um, in it which is kind of cool. It's really helpful, I think. I use it um, when I develop. So, android.hint. We're going to do password for this one. So, we can just tell the user, hey, put a username and put a password in. Uh, and it's awesome. So, while we're at it, we're actually going to change this text to submit so that when we make a new button, uh, it'll submit and it'll work perfectly. So you can kind of play around with it. There's a bunch of settings you can uh, work with. Obviously, you have the layout and stuff like that, but you can do a lot with it. Just kind of play around with it. That's what I really recommend while you're not on these tutorials. Go play, do whatever, check everything out. There's a lot to work with here, but that's one of the main things that I think is really cool about that. And we're going to have to put a backslash there. So... Now we're going to go into the Java and actually work with this a little better. And before we do that, we're going to make this the submit button. And 
so we can put a listener on it. So we're going to have to go down, go into here and initialize some variables. So edit text. We're going to do the username and password. So you're going to hit alt enter, not make it private. Um, alt enter. There we go. Import class. And you're going to want to obviously initialize these. So username equals edit text and find view by ID r dot ID dot username there we go and you're gonna also want to do the same thing for password edit text uh, find view by ID r dot ID dot password and bada bing bada boom we have them initialized all right so last time obviously we made the button for the other ones so that's from our last tutorial we're gonna go down a couple lines and work with this one so um, we're gonna you're gonna want to have you're gonna want to be able to access this edit text so if I put in say uh, where's it there it is so if I put in the lazy tryhard we want to know that we've put in the lazy tryhard we want to be able to access that text or that submission so what you do is you do username it's really easy username dot get text and that's it but you obviously have to put it in a string and you have to do that so we're gonna make a cute little button very quickly and we're going to finish this out so button we're gonna say we can't do B dang it submit I know, crazy with these names but and do submit equals button and we're gonna do find view by ID R dot ID dot submit. There we go. And once you do that, you can do your on click listener dot set on click listener. And you're going to want to hit that and new on click listener. There we go. And that's going to do all the text for you. And we're just going to actually do this really cool thing. And I'm going to make sure that now I'm not, you know what? I gotta make sure that I got this right. So give me a second, guys. What we're gonna do is kind of do like a cute little pop-up message that's gonna pop up for a little bit and fade out. So it's not a dialog box, which actually that gives me an idea to cover in the next tutorial. But it's going to do like I'm gonna it's kinda hard to explain. I'm just gonna show you guys. So it's called a toast toast. I know toast, right? Haha. -ha. And I'm gonna hit Alt Enter and it's gonna import. Thank you. And it's going to equal toast capital T and make te dot make text and it's going to ask for three things it's going to ask for the context which the context is basically just the activity so main activity so you can literally just put in this or you can do main activity dot this whichever you prefer I prefer to do that because it's more descriptive I guess I don't know it's probably the same thing but that's kind of how I've done it it's going to ask for the text so we're just going to put in Let's see. Let's just make a let's make a string value really quick. String s. It's gonna, we're going to put in the s, and it's going to ask for the duration of the pop-up. So we're just going to do let's see, ten. Does that work? And it's going to say strings like what the frick? It's not initialized. We're going to initialize it really quick. So we want to to pop up the username and the password of the input and the password. So we're going to do the following. We're going to do the username dot get text plus, and we're going to do a comma, and we're going to do plus password dot get text, and that's going to be it, and it's going to work, and it's going to be awesome. So now, finally, we just have to do toast dot show. I don't know why they call it toast. It's a really funny name. Um, so I'm praying this is going to work. I'm almost positive it's going to work, because obviously I made the tutorial, and if it's on YouTube right now, it has to work. So it's going to pop up and wait for it, wait for it. Gradle is going to be executing and it's going to ask me which emulator and we're going to blank, get a blank screen. That's always fun. So there we go. All right. So fingers crossed, everyone. Lazy try hard. We say password and you're going to hit submit and bada bing, bada boom. So you can hit it as many times as you want. We got this cute little toast box. So 
it gives you the it gives you access to the text. So uh, what you can do, obviously, on a more universal scale, is use that. And if you're trying to identify a user password, you can throw that into the database and see if it comes out super de duper um, and stuff like that. So again, just play around with it. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I'm going to show for the this tutorial. And the next one, I'm going to probably go into dialog boxes and to uh, basically do a little more. Um, with what we've been working with. So thank you so much for watching again. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.